Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nina and today's video is a little bit different. I wanted to do something basically called Nina Speaks, which is really inspired by something I seen today. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the topics that I seen come up today I thought were interesting while we get into it and bake some cookies. So y'all can't tell those are the cookies. These are the Pillsbury Christmas tree, sugar cookie doughs, 20 pre-cut cookies, quick stuff, throw it in the oven, just gotta line it up. And what is my baking utensil? But for our topics, we're just gonna go over some quick topics. I'm probably gonna spend about a minute, minute and a half on each topic, and we just gonna take it from there because it's a lot to talk about. Honestly, I was trying to do a five minute topic conversation kind of thing but we won't see how that goes but we won't just be speeding it up with some of these topics okay all right hey guys so we are back i have my phone of topics here that i wanted to go over i didn't want to forget anything and i also have something i'm gonna be snacking on while i prepare my cookies baby carrots ranch bomb snack anytime every time and I'm an amateur cook, so. My first thing that I've seen basically come up today is there's a discussion basically around whether or not you should be buying somebody's domain once they go viral. And that my turn through. Placed it in the pan like so. That's really the discussion. And what I've been seeing happening is someone goes viral. It's typically somebody of color goes viral. And then somebody else of color goes and buys the domain of whatever they went viral for. If you're not up to date, it happened before in the past with this girl and her candle business. And it happened recently, yesterday, today, with this guy and his uh, slogan. So this dude hops out of Honda, basically really getting into it, saying he's where the money resides. And it's popular. It sounds so good, it's great affirmation. It quickly goes viral. Everybody want to be where the money reside. I want to be where the money reside. And I think it was a little, maybe last night he posted that, yeah, he got trademarked and copyrighted. He got that slogan copyrighted and trademarked, but somebody had purchased his domain. And he had said something along the lines of like sending out the cease and desist. And it really brings it down to, is it ethically correct to try to make money off of somebody's clout and likeliness somebody's viralness because that's what's happening like that's exactly what's happening um some people claim that they buy the domains to give to the person because they might not know better but realistically there's also people who buy domains with people who go viral and sell it to them and i'm pretty sure legalities involved there one word i've heard thrown around a lot is cyber squatting so it's something to really think about like is that okay really is it is it okay get this down with some canola oil this is a cooking and baking spray because we love a good two-in-one but child i ain't know what to say when i see it i said okay but that's the tea on that um from what was heard, he did get that resolved with the person who purchased his domain. And he does have something, hopefully in the works of Honda, because Honda reached out to him and hopped in his DM, because he definitely brought a lot of attention to Honda. But realistically, I wish him all of the success in the world. I am so happy for him. Things have taken off, and you could tell he's a natural salesman. If you guys are interested in seeing the clip I'm talking about, I will link it in the description box below. 
because he got all his stuff copyrighted and I don't want no smoke. I don't want no problems. Okay. All right. So here's the cookies we working with. Isn't the Christmas stuff so cute? They do have instructions on the back. Heat oven to 350 degrees. Place cookie dough around on ungreased cookie sheet. Uh -huh, sorry. Grease. Um, bake 10 to 12 minutes and cookies surface with edges will be pale in color. Cool one minute before removing from the cookie sheet. Cookies will spread only slightly. I'm gonna preheat the oven and be right back. Yes, my oven is preheating and we just moving on to the next topic. Guys, let's talk about Clubhouse, okay? Let's talk about it because it's obviously there's things to discuss at Clubhouse. So, word on the street is there is a Clubhouse moon that is paying men who moan the best. It's a Clubhouse moon for men to moan, and whoever moans the best basically gets the bread. If you guys haven't heard about Clubhouse, Clubhouse is basically like a social media app. And what makes a difference from other apps is the fact that you have to be invited onto Clubhouse. And usually what happens is they have different rooms and there's a clear distinction between listeners and speakers. And you basically speak in these rooms. It's not text, it's speaking, it's real voice, it's live, right in that moment type of conversation, collaboration. So obviously it's getting some attention because it's, it's interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's very interesting. But some of these rooms, some of these rooms are even more interesting because wow, I couldn't believe it. I said men moaning for bread. Is this, is this their OnlyFans? <laughs> Listen. So I didn't put out too much. There's 20 in here, and I put out about eight because it's just me and my sister who are probably gonna be eating these. And I'm sliding this back, y'all can see. Didn't use too much. I'm gonna put this back in the thing. But the other thing, because you need to be referred in order to be on the platform word on the street is also people have been charging for their referrals because obviously if there's an opportunity to come up that's what people are going to choose so they have been hustling selling those referrals um some people can still get on that platform if you know somebody who refers you and there's a lot of kind people who have referral codes who want to refer people so just be on the lookout for stuff like that, especially on like Twitter, if you search a Clubhouse referral, somebody might want to refer you. What's really cool about Clubhouse though, is I think it's a really good place to collab. You have all types of people on Clubhouse, all types of rooms. If you are a small business owner, if you want to open or start your own business, if you have a venture, if you are a musician, artist, or creative, you should probably get on Clubhouse because they are just giving out the gems and they giving out the gems for free okay and you could talk to people who can help you who are directly in whatever industry or space that you're interested in so for me that's what makes clubhouse so valuable and i like it right now and it's like infancy stage i don't know how it's going to be able to scale um with more and more people who join the platform it's obvious they're trying to keep it smaller because invite only but I know once they scale, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to still keep that personal touch of everybody being able to talk and listen and participate in these discussions in the chat rooms. So something to watch out for. If you haven't heard about it, Clubhouse is a thing. It's coming up. Okay, guys, so we're back. I checked on the oven. It's almost done creepy and that's exactly what we wanted. But to the next topic. Cardi B is coming out with a show and it's going to be posted on the Facebook platform. I think she has said something like Facebook Messenger, something of the sort. I'm going to put the trailer that she put out in that post link in the description box. The show is called Cardi Tries and I think it is so dope. I love the concept behind it. Just her trying different things and the type of personality she has is so like, it's magnetic. You know, it makes people want to watch. It makes people want to follow. So she's coming out with the show. 
that looks interesting. And in the trailer, you seen like she tried ballet, she tried like um, race car driving, she tried teaching kindergarten, she tried making sushi. It, it's it's so interesting. And honestly, Cardi's a Libra. I'm a Libra. I feel like I get the rep for like being boring because I like to stay in my house and I don't really do much. But it's it's twofold, you know. I feel like I definitely live more to experience, and I love a good experience. So I'm really hoping once this pandemic calms down that I can actually go out and try stuff too. I've actually been super inspired by seeing that trailer because I was like, honestly, there's a ton of things I want to try. And I really feel like our generation doesn't value hobbies anymore. Everybody just wants to get rich quick and stunt. And I feel like it's so important to have hobbies, something you really enjoy. So I'm so down to try new things. I'm so down to travel. I am so down to explore, so I want to thank Cardi because she really inspired me. I'm going to put together a list of things I want to do, and that's what I'm going to do. So the first episode did drop today. It came out at noon. It's on Facebook. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm going to check it out too. I was waiting to do it with my nightcap. I got the cookies about to go. I got some wine. I'm going to sit and watch, okay? Next, y'all might not have heard of this one, but again, things that come up throughout the day because I'm a little bit everywhere. Facebook versus Apple. Y'all have not seen the way the girls been going at it? Listen, the girls have been fighting, okay? They have been spatting all over the hemispheres about privacy. So, Facebook has been taking out full page ads, basically coming at Apple because Apple wants to change its privacy rules and settings. Word is Apple is trying to make it so you get like a notification on your phone asking if you want apps to be able to track you across different apps and across different websites and basically while you're using your phone. And obviously, anybody who sees a notification like that is going to opt out of it. And Facebook is basically saying that by doing this, Apple is hurting small businesses. Which, you know, on one hand, I can agree because a lot of small businesses rely on ads that are pushed on consumers to get traffic to their websites, to get traffic to their products. It makes sense. But I think it's just a little funny just a little bit it's a little bit it's a little funny coming from facebook given facebook's history with security and privacy if you don't know about it google it it's there but that's really what the word on the street is um facebook is basically hoping that some type of government entity steps in and stops apple from trying to provide their users with more privacy options and more privacy transparency um, and apparently, this is something Apple wanted to do in September, but they pushed it to next year. That's when they want to enforce it. If you guys are interested in that, y'all should definitely check it out. The sound just went off, which means that it's time for me to put my cookies in the oven. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to be right back so we can finish our little discussion. Alright guys, we're back. We talked about a lot so far. I got two more things to put on you. So, have you guys noticed what's been happening with these stimulus check conversations? Have y'all been tapping into that? Because the United States government is basically saying, after having only given its citizens $1,200 one time during this entire pandemic that you guys deserve $600 in a stimulus check to go forward. After they let everybody figure it out for all these months, they've decided they want to go and settle on a $600 stimulus check. Granted, 
there's still things in the works they're still talking nothing's been set in stone but that's the number that came out so i just want to know how come in america its citizens are basically treated like they don't got bills they don't have rent they don't have food they need to eat they don't have kids they don't have responsibilities because what is $600 a month or even just a one-time $600 check will do after so many citizens have been left with just $1,200 once for months, for months. It's the end of the year. And this is what they want citizens to get. I think... I think it's definitely something that people need to see. And if you have a strong opinion, write your legislators, write and reach out to the people who represent you in your state. Let them know it's not okay. If the public gets up and they say they're not standing for something and they stand on that, there's people who are listening. So they wanna give y'all $600. And by y'all, I mean us because I too live here. So I just don't know what they think we won't do with $600. And last thing for today's video, Christmas is officially seven days away. I don't know why my fingers did that. Seven, seven days away, okay guys? Obviously with this panoramic, it's different. It feels different because it is different, but that's what I got for today. If you guys enjoy this quick, let's get into it with the different topics, let me know. I'll try to do these more frequently. I already want to do these more frequently, so y'all won't see these again. But for now, we're just going to wait on the cookies, and I will be right back. I'm back. <laughs> So guys, my cookies are done. I'm not sure if you guys could see them. I'm trying really hard not to have these fall, but here is my Christmas cookie. Mm-hmm. That's what I was talking about. Mom. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves some cookies and some wine. We on that bartender wave. You hear me? The bartender wave. If y'all don't know about it, know about it. Not my fancy glass. I really just wanted a regular glass, but I couldn't find it. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys tomorrow for the next day of vlogmas i'm trying to think of what else i mean that's it please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys again and i'll see you guys later me and my wine movie shop goodbye and good night bye Where the money was at? Where the money was at?